How's this? <gasps> Hello world. What is up everyone? Welcome back to today's video and welcome back to live stream number three. Today guys, we are doing full skincare routine and a glam for, you know, Nothing really, because listen, we're all staying inside. So this skincare routine is going to give you flawless skin, poppin' skin for your next Zoom meeting, or maybe you have like that very important Skype call and your skin is just looking a little bit dull, a little bit dead. I mean, listen, we're all locked inside, so it is what it is. Now I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes. <gasps> Anna, I see you. You guys, we have four people watching. Isabella, hello everyone. Christina, hello. You guys, the gang is all here. Let's dive right into it. Now, how is everyone doing today? I know that live streams are not going to be, I'm going to start doing my skincare routine because we don't have any time to waste. Now, what have you guys been doing? I know that live streams are not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but you know what? I thought, especially now during quarantine, this is the time for us all to really start to connect. And you guys, these comments, let me know. Today, we're gonna talk about the tea as well. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I am going to be answering everything. Now we are going to be using, I'm gonna have everything that we talk about, of course, linked in the description box down below. But you guys, let me know in the comments. Let's do this one together. Live stream number three. I'm so nervous, you guys. Look, I feel like my, my hands are shaking, you guys. Live streams? Oh my goodness, they're just so frightening. But we are overcoming our fear because you know what? This is the thing. When we are experiencing this fear, this is what I'm telling myself anyway, we're growing and we're getting better. So... Here we go. Now I have had quite the day, let me tell you guys. Um, my internet has been on the fritz. Now I didn't think anything of it because ever since quarantine started and everyone has been staying at home, my internet has just like never been the same to be honest. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it just is, everyone's on it. Everyone's working from home. I don't know what kind of difference that was making in my head, but I really just like was letting things go for too long until finally, what do you think about Korean skincare products? Christina, what do I think about it? Let me tell you, just let me finish this little story first and then we're going to dive right into it. So my internet was not working and I had to call and it turns out that I needed a whole new modem, but I called this morning and it was actually because of live streams that I found this out because my internet was going in and out. So I was like, of course, as soon as I start live streaming, my internet has to break. Now, Christina, Korean skincare, absolutely incredible. I actually have a new skincare line that I'm about to, well, I have several Korean skincare brands that I am about to review for you guys. Um, I actually wanted to show them off in today's video. There's a whole Sika skincare line by the same company who partnered with BTS. Let me tell you, Korean skincare partnership with BTS. Um, and I also have, I'm from um, their new, the same company that does the rice toner, which we're gonna use today. Um, they have a new fig line and oh, I really want to show you guys, but I just feel like I should wait until I know more about it so that I can tell you guys exactly the full scoop. Now, this Chanel cleanser, I have really been loving it lately. I had it up on the shelf for a bit, but I feel like it is really giving me life. Hello, you guys, I love talking to you in the comments. Let's rinse this cleanser off. Now, like I was saying, this is gonna be a full skincare routine for when you want really high lit glass skin. I'm also gonna show you guys a couple of tips and tricks, how I use concealer and a little bit of highlighter just to take my skin to the next level. Really the goal is when you walk in the room, especially by the end of today's skincare routine, you are going to be glowing, let me tell you. Just let me quickly rinse my face off. All right, now guys, it's Tuesday. What are you all doing today? Have you been enjoying the live streams? Don't worry, I'm still gonna do regular sit down videos, you know, with the full kit and caboodle, the full shebang. Also, I gave myself a little haircut, you guys. Look, this is the first time I ever cut my hair. Now, I was going for kind of like a really disconnected look. Oh, look, that looks really good. What would you say is your least favorite type of product? Anna, that question, you're gonna get me in trouble. 
What is my least favorite skincare product? Oy, oy, oy. Let me think. Now, we did talk about the apricot face scrub, and honestly, I think that face scrubs in general, yeah, not the brand. You know, there's, I always say there's a place out there for everything, but face scrubs in particular, and you're actually gonna see because we are gonna do this rice mask up next, and rice is really good for brightening the skin and promoting collagen and elastin, but this is, in theory, a fantastic mask, and I got it because I love rice and skincare. However, it contains actual pieces of rice, as you can see in there, that gently exfoliate the skin after you use the mask. So once you put it on, this is the perfect question because it falls right into our next treatment. So like I said, rice and skincare, phenomenal. And that's why we're using it today because we're going for a bright complexion. We're going to eliminate dark spots, um, fine lines, wrinkles. And however, like I was saying, the rice inside this mask actually kind of hurts my skin when I take it off. So I do, I have talked about it, I think maybe once. Why is rice a good ingredient? Well, let me tell you, Christina, rice has been in skincare for centuries and rice water in particular um, is phenomenal at transforming the skin. So let's get this on the skin because we're just going to leave it on for five minutes. But Anna, as you're going to see, I mean, you guys can see right here, there are those chunks of rice. And for me, they're actually just a little bit too big. And I find when I go to take this mask off and I do, you know, this gent gentle exfoliation, it actually can damage the skin. And as you guys know, I suffer from, or I'm very susceptible to um, broken veins and capillaries along my nose. And if you've been following me for a little bit of time now, you know that I have spent a lot of time and money on IPL laser to correct the damage that I did from over exfoliation. So I would say that if you had to go without a skincare product or one that just kind of like, eh, I don't know, I would say facial exfoliators. That was a really good question, you guys. There's 10 of us now in the chat. I am digging this. Have any of you guys used this mask before? You guys know, I talk about the Wish Trend brand all the time. They're a South Korean skincare company and they've got some really great products, especially the I'm From line. So I'm From has the rice toner. It's the same company as this one by Wish Trend, which is the mandelic acid I also really love, but same as the mugwort essence. I'm from, in particular, the subdivision of By Wish Trend, really focuses on single skincare ingredients, and that's going to be a huge trend in skincare coming into North America in the next, I would say, probably this year, to be honest. How expensive are these Korean products? The I'm from Shook to Death. Shook to Death, I love that name. Um, all of the products from I'm From or by Wish Trend, and I'll have everything linked down below. So if you go through there, you'll find everything. They are extremely affordable. $15, $20, $30 is like a very expensive product, and that's Canadian. So if you live in the States, it's going to be even cheaper. Um, they have got so many cool products. I've got a lot to share with you guys. They're actually one of my favorite skincare brands. As you're going to see, they also have Claire's. That is their three big brands. Um, so think of it, parent company by Wish Trend, and then their two biggest product lines are I'm From and Claire's. Now Claire's is like an online cult classic when it comes to skincare. So I'm sure you guys have heard about that before. Now we're just gonna let this sit on the skin. Are you still using the tretinoin cream at night? Battery tea, let me tell you, I am but I'm not using it as often as I used to. So I used to use retinol or tretinoin cream, and you may have seen my reaction video to my three month um, Retin-A update, which was completely horrific and embarrassing. And we reacted to it together. Um, it was something else, but back then I used retinol or tretinoin cream actually for an entire year. I used it every single day. So my skin, honey, was raw and the only reason no i shouldn't say that because if you're just a regular joe out there you can use if you're using the appropriate percentage of retin-a or tretinoin cream um nothing's gonna happen to you so if you're seeing your dermatologist that's why i always say i always get spam comments in my i've done oodles of videos on retin-a or tretinoin cream and on all those videos i get so many comments of people saying that they buy their retin-a or they buy their retin-a cream on the internet this you guys 
just makes me actually this is a good time just to take a minute to take a breath please do not buy tretinoin cream or retin a cream on the internet now i know if you're buying a low percentage perhaps nothing drastic is going to happen to your skin but you don't know where it's from here in north america tretin a tretinoin cream is a controlled drug so it's the same you have to go to a doctor to get it you have to get a prescription and i always recommend that because it is the scientifically most proven skincare ingredient to give you um, younger looking skin so i'm talking getting rid of fine lines getting rid of wrinkles it's a melanin inhibitor so in particular i suffered from sunspots we're just going to leave this mask on fyi for a couple more minutes especially under my eyes here when i was younger i spent a lot of time in the sun and retin a has helped to diminish and prevent my dark spots from getting more intense. I also found that when I used Retin-A consistently, it would help to alleviate, as you guys can see, my wrinkles in my forehead or like my smile lines here, clean and clear. I'll talk about that in one second, Christina. Um, when I was using a Retin-A, it didn't get rid of wrinkles, I'll say, but because it did help to keep the skin smoother and does help to promote collagen and elastin, it actually gave your skin, gave my skin a fuller appearance and because it wasn't like crinkling and cracking, it was fantastic. So it just made my skin overall look more amazing. Now, clean and clear, Anna, I see you out there. Girls out there using clean and clear. I haven't used clean and clear since, well, I don't want to say because I was just a teenager last year. Um, so really, it hasn't been that long since I've been using clean and clear. I kid, I kid. I haven't used Clean and Clear in a very long time, you guys. So I actually don't know. I When I go shopping in the drugstore for skincare, um, which isn't too often, but I take you guys shopping, uh, Clean and Clear was so harsh on my skin when I used it. Shook to death, you're right. And Christina, I'm using it now because shops are not open. So listen, if it works for you, this is what I say. Skincare has a place and a time for everyone. Everything, whether it you know, contains a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Maybe it's not the best for your skin. If you're just using it, you know, once or twice, or you want to try a product, nothing that drastic is going to happen to your skin. So Christina, I say go for it. Anna, what clean and clear products do you use? Um, or shook to death, which one made your skin irritated? When I, oh, I was going to say, when I was taking you guys shopping um, for skincare products at the drugstore, um, Clean and Clear, is it, do they have the one that's in like a yellow container? They have a lemon line. I feel like that's for acne. Um, I don't know if that's Clean and Clear or maybe it's Neutrogena, but either way, putting citrus in a line for acne um, just like gives me the goosebumps. Yeah, me too. I mean, I feel like every teen uses Clean and Clear, right? It's affordable. It's, I actually started my skincare and I would love to find my skincare, the original skincare from L'Oreal that I used. I think I was around 15 or maybe, yeah, probably 15 when I started doing serious skincare, the three-step skincare, and I used L'Oreal. It was a wash, a toner, a cream, and I think they had like a spot treatment. Um, the exfoliating daily wash from Clean and Clear has microbeads in it. Um, is using it daily bad? Yes, Christina, I wouldn't. I'm sure that the beads in theory are probably gentle enough to not overly harm your skin too much, but you really want to avoid any physical exfoliation or any harshness on your skin as much as possible. So that goes for um, even chemical exfoliations. You wanna just be careful that you're not over exfoliating the skin, but in particular with those little harsh beads. Now there has been research that's come out that says that micro tears aren't even real in skincare. So they say the biggest proponent, oh, I have a little bit of rice in my hair here. Um, the biggest proponent against physical exfoliators is that they cause little micro tears in the skin. And then those little micro tears irritate the skin and age your skin faster than it would had they not been there. But recent studies have come out that micro tears haven't even been proven to be real. So that does make you rethink everything. However, if, when it comes to exfoliation, make sure that you're not over exfoliating. And if you at all can, use a chemical exfoliator like, oh, I can't open my cupboard because I have a giant ring light here. Um, use a chemical exfoliator like the Bosha Peeling Gel, which is my absolute favorite. All right, guys, so we just rinsed that mask off here. Should I turn this light on? Actually, I have this ring light here and I'm not even using it. Is that better or worse? 
Huh? All right, we need to see my glow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Shook to death. You just read my mind. How do you feel about Tatcha products? Look at this. So I have never used any Tatcha products. I know that is shockingly crazy, but because we're using rice in skincare, I thought I got this little set because I am going to review it. I'm going to do a deep dive into the ingredients and I will give you guys like the full scoop, but it does contain rice. Um, this is their water cream, which is the cult classic. And I can't believe I've never used it before. Tatcha is just a very expensive skincare brand. And when it comes to testing and trying a lot of skincare products, um, I don't like to venture into the anything that's like $75 and beyond to me. Tatcha, oh, you love the water cream shook to death? You need to tell me why. We're gonna use it in this in today's skincare routine. So um, because it contains that rice. So today is all about brightening and smoothing the skin. As you guys can see, after that rice mask, I mean, my skin is looking a lot more illuminated. So following right in the rice trend, I don't want to get to Tatcha just yet. We're going to get there. Um, this is I'm from again. Now I was going to use my mandelic acid, which is a very gentle exfoliator. It's one of the most mild daily exfoliators that you can use on your skin. However, in the name of... Um, I have oily skin and I feel like it moisturizes without making it more oily. Clinique and Estee Lauder skincare products are good. I do have some Estee Lauder skincare products to talk about as well. Um, but keeping in um, shook to death, when we get to Tatcha, I do want to ask you even more questions because I have a lot of questions about the water cream. We're gonna use the rice toner right now just to hydrate the skin and this is gonna help to soften the skin before we apply our toners. Um, sorry, before we apply our serums and our moisturizers. So just like that, you know what? I feel like I don't like that light. This is better. I feel like this is a lot more cozy. I have my little lights here. These are my Philip Hue lights. And oh, look. Ooh, you guys. Um, I wanted to do like a little color vibe. So I actually have two of them. Um, anyway, guys. So what was I just talking about? I lost track. This is the downfall of doing a live video. We're just gonna see everything. Um, going, oh. oh, just ignore that. You look so good and you have great skin. Oh, thank you, Wally. Listen, guys, it takes a long time to get um, the skin that you're after. So it doesn't happen overnight. There's no product that's going to do it all at once. I'm just trying to balance this light here. I always say skincare is a long, what brand can you recommend for dry skin? Actually, everything that I use all the time, I don't even have necessarily just dry skin, um, but all the products that I use all the time are made for dry skin because I love hydration. In my mind, I think the longer that I can keep myself hydrated and incubated, the longer I will hold on to youthful skin. That's just in my mind, I don't know, but we're gonna see. So flawless, thank you, Christina. Um, so I put on my rice toner, again, brightening, illuminating. Hello, it's here. It's softening our skin and we're gonna go ahead and apply some serums now and that toner has softened our skin, removed that top layer because there's also the rice ferments in there help to gently exfoliate the skin. So we've washed, we have, you know, really, we are ready. So I am going to use my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2 because this contains probiotics and it's gonna help to give your skin, oh my goodness, I just choked. It's gonna help to give your skin a really healthy biome, making your skin a lot more luminous, smooth and hydrated. Now there are a lot of texture enhancers in here as well that aren't necessarily long-term benefits. The probiotics and the filtrates are long-term benefits when it comes to those ingredients, but there are, ooh, I used that last night, Christina, good choice. Um, but just keep in mind, there are a lot of texture enhancers too. So you're going to get a lot of just kind of like sensory feeling. So it's going to be very smooth. It's going to be um, kind of slippery to the touch. And then those probiotics are going to help to work. You can use this morning and night. Oh, Mong Diep Nien. Heart eyes right back at you, you guys. I mean, instantly you can see that this is making my skin hydrated and dewy. 
and we're gonna help control that. We don't we don't want to look oily. Remember, today we're going on a Zoom meeting. We're going on a fantasy vacation. We're gonna put on that beach thing on YouTube, and we're gonna sit in front of the TV. We're gonna go to the beach, UV free. Um, but we don't want to look oily. We want to look hydrated. We want to look dewy. We don't want to look old, decrepit, dry, oily. We want to find that perfect balance, and that's just what we're doing. So I'm gonna put on a little bit more hydration because you really don't need to use or you shouldn't use too much of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Decrepit, you're right, Anna. We don't wanna look like, we don't wanna look like an old shriveled up apple doll. We also don't wanna look like an old potato that's been left in the cupboard, dried up, and then it starts to grow those eyes. That's just disgusting. So you really don't wanna use Christina Laneige products. I do wanna mention something about that. Just, I've put it in my memory just for one second. I'm out of breath. You guys, I've been talking for 20 minutes and 42 seconds. Oh my goodness. I'm, 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 doing, I'm doing great. All right, guys. So you don't want to use too much of this serum because it's very expensive. It's $100 a bottle. You don't need to overuse it. You don't need to waste it. So I'm going to pair that with my Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. Now this contains so many soothing ingredients that actually help to calm your skin. So if you have irritated skin, red skin, it's super hydrating. It contains Centella Asiatica. Um, let me see. Oh, and the package on this one here, the ingredients are in Korean. Um, if I remember correctly, tons of different sodium hyaluronate, um, niacin niacinamide, I'm blanking, but it is so hydrating and so soothing. You guys are gonna see. It has a really gooey texture and it just spreads so easily over the skin and that's all you need. So this is going to be mostly for hydrating and soothing the skin. Let's put this on here. Um, Christina, now Laneige products, you guys. I have to tell you, the Laneige Overnight Sleeping Mask actually made my skin more dry. I don't know. The, also, the Laneige Overnight Sleeping Mask for your lips made my lips more dry. It was actually one of the first products that I've ever reviewed on YouTube. You can go way back in time. I don't recommend it because I look like a totally different person. And it's rather embarrassing. Ow! Oh my goodness, I just poked myself in my eye, you guys. I'm getting used to having bangs. And my hair just poked me in the eye. I guess it's a lip mask for peeling. Let me tell you, Anna. It sure is because my lips would peel right off but they never were hydrated afterwards or I didn't see any long-term benefits. I used the whole thing because it was kind of expensive, but I don't know. They just didn't work for me. There's also fragrance in their products, a lot of fragrance, but they were one of the skincare brands initially, especially when it comes to Korean skincare that really got my attention. Anna, your lips are peeling off too? Let me tell you, mine are too. It's just that time of year. I feel like everyone has such a dry lips. Also, I'm not drinking as much water because I'm not going to the gym as much as I was and I feel like that's where I drank the most water. And now, I'm just like so out of whack. How are you guys keeping? Do you miss exercising? All I've been doing is going for walks. I haven't, and I exercise, I used to go to the gym five days a week. Um, you use the Balancing Emulsion Christina by Laneige. I also use that. Um, used that the fragrance is actually and I love fragrance but the fragrance in that was so powerful it felt like I was putting flowers right on my face so it's one of the products that I discontinued first originally when I started like my 10-step Korean skincare routine oh okay guys we're we need to keep on moving we are just I'm having oh. let's just take a break you guys if you're watching along this is the perfect time for you to go get a snack Get a coffee. Let's just take a minute. I know that some people get triggered when I eat on camera. But you guys, I eat. Anna, these are the tropical ones. What type of candy have you guys been eating in quarantine? I feel like I'm going to turn into a piece of candy. Now, the thing is... Sugar apparently gives you acne, but I mean, I've been in quarantine for quite some time now and I don't see any acne. Look at this beard, you guys. I rarely have a beard because when I do skincare, I don't like to have a beard that takes up a lot of valuable real estate to show you guys product, but I do like having a beard. All right, so let's move right along. We've put our serums on. We have washed, toned. Already our skin is looking 
like it is ready. Like if someone called me right now on Zoom, I could just be like, bloop, bloop. oh, they would be like, Trevor, Trevor, what did you do to your skin? Dairy gives you acne, right? Like milk, etc. I have, I mean, that's what they say. I haven't experienced that personally. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit cheeky, actually like today, I put milk inside my coffee. Just a small splash and I'll tell you, it's not even because I'm trying to avoid dairy. It's because I'm trying to be more environmentally conscious and you know, that whole cow business and milk business, it's not good for the environment. Um, and, and if it gives you acne, if it's bad for the environment and it gives you acne, hello, why do we even need to have this conversation? Um, actually, you know what guys? I'm just gonna go, this is not even in the right order, but I'm just looking for a little bit more luminosity here. So I'm gonna add on a couple drops of the Quad Active Boosting Essence. And I'm gonna put this just under my jaw here and on my neck because here is a big secret to success. When you have nice skin, you can't forget the neck because when you walk into a room, yes, your cheekbones might be glowing. Yes, the bridge of your nose might be high lit and people might think you're God himself, but your neck has to be just as dewy and shiny and like that you didn't just forget about your body, right? We need to go from head to toe, H to T as Ty, as Tyra would say. Have you guys been watching? Tyra Banks is going through the ringer. People are taking her to church on the internet, you guys, for old clips from old top model episodes. And you know what? People are not wrong. Maybe making Danny close her gap. I mean, she didn't want to, but did you guys hear that loud truck outside? We need to fix this hair, Trevor. Oh yeah, I was telling you guys earlier too. I gave myself a haircut for the first time. And I was going for like a disconnected kind of like 90s look. I'm so inspired by um, the, oh, oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> yeah, you know what? We're not even gonna use a headband. We are, this is rocker grunge, right? And by rocker grunge, I mean like pop star trying to play rocker grunge. Um, all right, let's move right along because we've done our serums. We have done all of our luminosity. You guys, I'm distracted by my own skin. So now has come our time to layer on the Tatcha Water Cream. Now you guys, please let me know how many of you have tried this before because I know it's more than just one of you. This is an iconic cult classic moisturizer and I've never used it before. So this is actually a first impression. It doesn't really smell like anything. Stay tuned because we're going to do a deep dive into the ingredients. Um, all right, here we go. Let's do this together. Okay, it's a lot thicker than I thought because it's called the water cream. I don't know, maybe I just assumed it was a little bit more of a gel texture, but that's definitely, it's pushing like a thick cream. Normally not my favorite, but you know what? We're gonna go for it anyway. No scent, or very fair, I should say. Very light floral. I have a uh, Romeo hair stuck to my face. You guys, I am loving live streaming. Although I do need to get down um, to filming a video for you guys because I have so many skincare products to share with you. Here we go. Let's put this on. Can you guys hear this? ASMR, oh yeah. Can you guys hear this? Did you guys watch Jessica Alba? to her skincare routine ASMR style. It was kind of like this. Oh my goodness, this feels so smooth. I literally can't look at this. I feel like my fingers are gonna slip right off my face. You guys, this cream, the texture of this cream. Okay, so initially I thought because it's a thicker, you got, okay, now that, that is some luminosity. Originally I thought because it was such a thick complexion or thick uh, texture that it wouldn't spread very easily, but oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, I'm impressed. My skin is super hydrated, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just gonna take a moment to appreciate. Wow, okay. Okay, Tatcha, I cannot wait to dig into these ingredients and share everything with you guys. So rice ferment filtrate is the second ingredient in the moisture cream. I feel like whenever I use the product, um, I'm just rubbing off the last product. 
Oh no, 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 no. Well, um, Christina, you're saying when you feel like you layer when you're layering on products, you're just rubbing off the next one. You're not. They're soaking in there. And ultimately, this is the thing. When it comes to layering skincare products, it's you could just mix them together all in your hand and put them on your skin. It's kind of the same thing. So unless you're really waiting and taking the time, like two and three minutes between each application to give it a little bit of time to sink into your skin. Really, you're just layering everything, mixing it all on together anyway. So you don't need to be worried about that. Everything will, you guys, cat hair everywhere. Um, everything will be on there fine. And oh, look, I'm also loving these blue lights, you guys. All right, um, more questions, guys. Hit me with more questions in the comments down below. Um, quarantine questions, tea questions, what are you watching on YouTube? Um, do you have any thoughts, any opinions on anything? So because we did, oh no problem, Christina, you guys can ask me literally anything. Um, now that we did our skincare, I do wanna add a little bit of extra zhuzh because we want to stand out on Zoom. You know what? You're looking at that little screen on your little Zoom meetings and everyone is only a tiny square. So like in that tiny square, you guys, Look, you need to make your skin pop out, right? So that's what we're doing. So we are going to take a little bit of highlighter. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how embarrassing is this? This is my Jeffree Star highlighter that broke inside my bag and I just couldn't part with it. So I put it in this plastic bag and sometimes I just dust it on my body for fun. I can't use it on my face anymore because when you open it up, it literally goes everywhere. Um, oh no, like right now, it's everywhere. Um, but I just like to keep it for my body because maybe next time I go to Vegas, if I can ever travel again, I'll just put this in like a little baby powder shaker and literally just shake my entire body full of highlighter. So now what are we talking about, Trev? Let me just get, oh no, you can rub me alcohol. Look, no, it really broke. Any suggestions for quickly taming the one rogue hormonal pimple? Anna. Listen, this is what you need to do to get rid of that pimple. First of all, you need to not pop it. Did you think that this live stream just froze? No, I'm just being serious. Anna, you cannot be popping this pimple. We cannot be touching our faces, you guys, especially now more than ever. Like, hello, um, Corona germs and, oh no. Oh no, I just said the C word. You guys, I think this video is probably gonna get demonetized and it's gonna be like buried deep in the YouTube algorithm because they don't like you to say that word. How crazy is that? Anyway, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll on. Um, because of that, you don't wanna be, don't wanna be putting your, your fingers by your pimples anymore because it might just crawl right in your pimple once you pop it and that would not be good. So I'm just gonna put my headband on. Um, do you have any pimple patches, Anna? Pimple patches are really the way to go. So that way you won't be, um, tempted to pick at it. Now I did just wet my beauty blender and we are going to take my Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold illuminator and we're just going to hit the high parts of our face. Oh you got some pimple patches. Christina which ones did you get? Um Anna yes here let me get my this is my little pack of face masks here and for pimple patches Masquerade, fabulous, also costs our X. Yes, and let me tell you, you put these on and you wake up the next day and there's no pimple. And I'm telling you, you guys, if for nothing, literally if for nothing, if these do absolutely nothing, they will prevent you from touching your pimple. And I'll leave it at that. Really the key when it comes to acne and acne healing is not popping it, not breaking it, because then you're gonna scar, especially if you have a darker skin tone. If you pop a pimple, that scar could be there for months or years. And the fairer my skin got as well, um, my pimples, any types of scars that I had in particular turned red, like they were deeper. And when your skin gets more fair and fair and you're staying out of the sun longer, all of those dark spots, those scars, they're all gonna start to come through your skin worse than ever. So hands off pimples, we don't pop them. We use pimple patches, COSRX or Masquerade. You know what? I wonder if this is open. I could open it up. Oh, no, I have so many of them, you guys. Nope, this one's not open either. Anyway, well, we'll forget about it. Um, they're just little, little, little circles. You just pop them right in your pimple and like I said, if for nothing, although they do work, they actually work, 
but if for nothing, they're also going to stop you from popping your pimple. And that is key. That was a really good question. When it comes to acne, um, in particular, I only get like little spots. So pimple patches are great for that. Now, if you're suffering from huge flare ups, I always say, guys, if you're suffering from huge flare ups, huge acne flare ups, see a dermatologist. I know that it can seem out of the way or it can be expensive, especially if you live somewhere that doesn't have healthcare or free healthcare or good healthcare. It can be so expensive to go see one, but I'm telling you in the long run, you'll save your skin. You'll also save yourself money from when you go at Sephora, let me tell you, I've never worked at Sephora, but reps at Sephora are gonna sell you more expensive skincare and less effective skincare than a dermatologist. A dermatologist is gonna send you they're either going to get you products that are scientifically proven to help, which are really not that expensive, or they're going to send you to the drugstore to get one of their favorite or their most recommended products that is not going to irritate your skin. There's going to be no fluff, and that's how you're going to get rid of your acne. So here we go. I've taken a little bit of my Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold, and we're just going to hit the highlights of our face so we are going to be having the glassiest, glossiest skin ever. My Wet Beauty Blender, I'm just picking it up and I'm gonna go right along my cheekbone here and then I'm not gonna take it, here's the thing, don't go too far down. So we wanna look kinda like we just exercised, right? So I'm gonna go up into my eye here and because this is a um, cream formula or like a gel formula, it's not going to look cakey. It's going to look like your real skin. So as you can see now when I'm moving, like I'm getting a lot more reflection. It's not really makeup. Oh my gosh, my lamp. My, now, my Philips Hue because it's unplugged. It just uh, turned off. I don't have it plugged in. It's just running on its battery. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Let's turn this light back on. Oh, there she is. Um, there we go. So then you can take it up here as well. I like to go right up into the hairline. It does have a little bit of a gold hue, so it's gonna be like a little bit of a bronzer as well. There we go, almost like that number three. Boom, boom, boom. Just take the rest, scoop it up off my hand here. I like to take it just kind of along here. A little bit on my chin. And then I just take what's left on my hand and I literally just wipe it on my ear because Everything needs to be shining, right? All right, you guys, how are we looking now? We have got our Zoom FaceTime. We are looking good. We are feeling good. We are exponentially more high lit than when we started. You know what? I think I'm missing one final thing before we can call this true glass skincare routine. And you know what that is? Let's take a little bit. We are going to get real crazy here today, guys. Victoria, Victoria, welcome to the chat. It is so nice that you are here. I'm loving to meet you guys. I've met so many of you in the comments um, of other videos, but the reason I love to do these live streams is because we're gonna get to meet even, even faster and even better, you guys. So please keep saying hello in the, um, in the chat down below. And I'm gonna post this video afterwards, so don't feel like you need to stick around or watch it all right now. You can watch it at night, you can watch it when you do your thing. Um, I'm taking a little bit of the Cover FX Highlighter Drops. We're really taking it to the next level. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand here. And we're not gonna go crazy with this, but I love to put it right here. Now there's nothing on my finger yet, but right at the top of my, look you guys, I burnt myself on the oven burning myself and cutting myself is like the number one most upsetting thing and I burnt myself trying to make an English muffin. I thought someone just came into my house you guys that was scary um and I'm so sad anyway just take a little bit of the now oh look I mean now this is a highlighter honey um and again we're not using any powders or anything we're just using okay let's see these are all liquids I'm just gonna put it right, I have a little dent at the top of my nose here. And, okay, obviously this is not final, we're gonna blend this out, but when I put a little bit at the tip of my nose here, it actually just like, look, I mean, I mean, you guys can see, it just elongates my nose, makes it look a lot more prominent, and I love having a big nose, you guys. I love my nose, I'm gonna take a little bit left here. Let's do a little bit on my cheeks here. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. A little bit of her here. And I mean, just like that, you guys. There we go. Let's turn this light up. Let's take a look at our final product. My hair is kind of unsalvageable at this point. We've gone past the point of no return of it air drying. But here we go, you guys. We are ready. We did our full skincare and glam. When you're ready to leave the house, this would be the perfect look to wear out. Candle lights are going to be reflecting off my face. If I was out for a glass of wine tonight, I mean, everyone would... Oh. Oh. I mean, even... Oh. It doesn't matter what direction you come at me from. I am looking high lit and hydrated. And guys, that was my full skincare routine and glam. Live stream number three. Thank you so much for joining. Um, thank you so much for your questions. I love and I appreciate every single one of you. Um, thanks so much for coming. If you guys like these live streams, please let me know in the comments down below. I am going to upload them to my channel afterwards. So I just find myself watching YouTube creators. Sometimes I just like put them on and I don't know, I don't even pay attention half the time. I just like to listen to them talking. And I know that's what you guys are doing right now. And it doesn't matter whether you are doing the dishes, whether you're vacuuming, whether you have earplugs in and you're just looking at my video. I love and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I plan on doing this a lot more often. So Victoria, th you did come at the end, but that's okay. I'm going to start, um, maybe I'll try and post or share with you guys. Please let me know what's the easiest way to connect with you to let you know when I'm going to go live. So if I could, you know what, maybe I could do like, I could go live every single day, let's be honest. Um, it would take up a little bit of time away from doing more structured videos, but I love this. So let's come up with a plan, maybe on my community tab, or if you're not following me on Instagram already, head over there and we'll figure something out as a group, something that works for all of us so we can connect and we can hang out and we can have something to do because a lot of us are at home doing absolutely friggin' nothing or a lot of us are at home working, but we need a little bit of a break. Anyway, guys, I love and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, a countdown, Christina, that is a great idea. Maybe I'll do a countdown for my next live video. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Romeo is nowhere near, so I'm just going to let him sleep on this one. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Eat your candy, wear your moisturizer, and stay out of the sun. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Bye.